Time once again to see what kind of stupid things we can put into space. First up today, a wooden spaceship, one pallet, two planks, one teddy bear, 100 meters, and a dream. So the pallet's probably going to be the easy part because it's nice and even. The planks themselves fit within the pallet. It has a teddy bear under toys. A teddy bear is no toy, it is a tool for building rockets. And after using a few wood parts, we have 8 out of 117 parts used. That means we could probably send this thing pretty well into space. We're going to put a big booster on either side and still have room to spare. So maybe we'll put some wings on just for a little bit of stability. We know how much I love stability. Then there's one more little booster in the middle and off we go. Yeah, I think this is going to work out pretty good. I even put the planks in the middle to uh, make it more aerodynamic, obviously. All we got to do is make this go 100 meters into the sky. Is it going to do it? It actually might. Uh, uh, yep, it's at 96 meters. We're so close. Is the teddy bear in the wrong spot? I've uh, applied my analytical brain to this problem, and as you can see, as we take off, it flies to one side or the other pretty hard. I think if I was able to even that out a little bit... Oh, we hit 100 meters anyway. Never mind, it's perfect. NASA, I'm answering the phone today. So that was the double barrel hot dog pallet shark progress. Man, that's a super wild combo, and it really is. 43,000 views, we're moving on up in the world. And there's a whole story here about people talking to me and giving me challenges for part. I don't listen to any of them. Just give me this stuff and get out of my way. I don't have time for idiots. I have stuff to put into space. And I suddenly have a new dream. There's the ultimate engine for $283,000. I think I have $100, so we're a little ways away, but NASA's gonna call any time now and I'm gonna get a huge grant. In the meantime, I'm gonna continue to launch garbage into space. Wood based startup, nose, body, fins, done. Because now we have wood to work with. And I feel like that's going to make it super easy because this is an actual rocket. It's just made out of wood. And I paid big money for the big boosters, so why would I not use them? And uh, we're also going to put a baby doll in the rocket too, just because we can. We only have to hit 300 meters. I think we're going to get there. Mm, maybe that's going to be a little bit heavier than I thought. I didn't check the weight. But we're going to launch a baby into space and I couldn't be happier about it. So we're at 50 meters, 100 meters, 200 meters, 300 meters. No problem with the big rockets. That's why I saved up for them. Uh, if you want to take a look at what the rocket's currently doing, the baby is right here. Or we might have ejected it at some point. Uh, either way, it's not going to have a very graceful landing because my rockets are always a one-way trip. I'm sure someone will clean that up at some point. So that was the baby extra boost challenge. That kind of has me wondering though. Can I just kind of like send a baby into space like that? See, now this might seem stupid, but I actually need this middle booster because I think it's going to fall over on launch if we don't have it. It's a critical balancing point. And no, it's not that aerodynamic yet. But if you think it's supposed to be aerodynamic, you're missing the point. This baby is ready to go to space. Good news, it does stay standing upright. Okay, well, how far is the baby going to go? Cast your votes now in the comments. <laughs> it's going pretty high. Should have attached a firework to it. It could have explained, okay, we sent that a thousand meters into the sky so far. That's actually one of my highest rockets yet, and I just strapped a bunch of rockets to a child. Well, not a real one. They won't let me do that yet. This is going to sound strange, but it's actually moving almost horizontal. This would do very well at uh, Learn to Fly. If we had a penguin in there, we would have set records. L it's been going for 35 seconds. This is going to be worth a fortune on whatever we upload this to. I think this is basically an, like intercontinental missile at this point. That probably triggered someone's radar. That only went 1.34 kilometers? I've got to get better at this. Deer has been a fun theme for me lately. Include dandy deer, reach 500 meters, that should be easy. I'm concerned as to what this actually is, but we're going to do the world a favor and send it into space. It's 19 kilos, so it's not very light, and it only takes up four spots, so we can build on this. Mm, adding the wood might work against me too much here, but I'm going to try it just kind of like this, and then that may or may not hit the desired height. <laughs> okay, we're going to send this into space. Merry Christmas. Who let us have a runway? Where are we? That's not good. Okay, well, let's see where it goes. Okay, we hit a grand total of 62 meters because that thing's really heavy. We're going to need a different design. Okay, the wood is definitely a little heavier than I anticipated it being, so we're going to stick mostly to the deer itself and lots of horsepower. So basically something like this, uh, as much as we can even it out, so it flies hopefully more or less straight. But of course, as soon as the wind hits it, it's going to go wherever it wants because it looks like this. So depending on how this goes, we'll see if this is even feasible right now. Uh, so far we're not after a very good start, but off you go. I believe in you. 
think this is gonna have to be one of those more or less insta launches. Nope, it just falls over. I've got it to the point where it's able to stand up just a little more. It's flying kind of to one side though, so we're just gonna balance that out a touch. This just makes me deeply uncomfortable. That's why I wanted to leave this planet. Off you go. That's flying much straighter. It takes a hard turn right about there though. We're only hitting 250 meters. We're only halfway there. So I'm gonna take off the littlest booster and try and use that for more aerodynamics. So this is going to add a little bit of weight, but that's hopefully going to fix the aerodynamics problem we're having. I even put a fin over here to help stabilize things. Basically, if this doesn't work, I don't think anything will. I'll maybe put another fin here to hopefully deflect air over to that one. <laughs> okay, it's so much better than it's ever been before. Off you go. I just realized this is going to land in someone's yard and they're going to be very confused and disturbed by it. Oh, I've made it so much worse. But it kind of does that loop thing I've been wanting a rocket to do for a while. Okay, let's just try one more time moving the center of mass centered or low even. That way it flies the right way. Okay, center of mass is nice and low. We're going to have to get a bit of a quicker start than that because that's not about to work. But if we do get a launch, it just does a flip right away. God damn it. But that video was for 22,000 views, so I made a few dollars. I also want to try just a little experiment because I realized after making the deer thing that it almost does a loop. Now look what this one does. It almost does a loop. I just needed it to turn less hard. Okay, that one worked. I wasn't recording because I didn't think it worked, but loopings won. We finally did it and we got an epic tag. So we'll go with baby boost lightweight stunt looping. That's a cute combo, an awesome combo with 40,000 views to launch a baby in circles. People are disgusting. Now I need a stunt rocket that can uh, loop twice, but I get five complexity for doing it. Well, if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. Pretty sure if I make this uneven enough, it will loop twice. The biggest challenge with this one is getting it far enough off the ground so that it does... Well, enjoy that, whoever's window that goes through. Little redesign. We needed to get far enough off the ground that it can get a second loop because we didn't get two there. Okay, I've added a second booster and we're actually getting a lot closer. I've also put it on a block because that's apparently doesn't count as two loops, but it's so close. Okay, I think I finally got it. I'm even going to redo this launch because I'm quite sure this is going to work again. So it goes around once and twice and almost three times before hesitating and falling to the ground. Unstable flight angle due to bad fin placement. That's kind of the point, but we got a viral tag. So we could have monster, power boost, looping, challenge baby. We're over $200. We're going to get that million dollar rocket in no time. Next is a bike angel, which is a wheel, two frames, a teddy bear, 250 meters. So I'm maybe going to use it something like that. That's not going to stay upright, but if I had some boosters, it might. There's actually two bike frames here. I just stacked them up because that would be easier. We can put the wheel somewhere probably in the middle where it's going to be a little bit aerodynamic and keep the weight low. Then we need a teddy bear. He's probably not going to affect the weight very much anyway, so we'll keep him down here. I feel like this one's not going to be particularly hard. Uh, that's putting the boost weight to one side. Uh, obviously, it can't have it that low either. And the weight distribution of this leaves us about here. And I might actually be able to add a third one of these. Great. Uh, there's also no fins or anything guiding this in the right direction. We're just going to kind of wait to see where this goes. Probably not the prettiest thing I've ever built but definitely also not the worst. That's getting up there pretty quick. There's 200 meters, 300, 400, 500. I, oh, we only supposed to hit 250, so we got about three times that now. Godspeed, teddy bear. That's legitimately gonna hit a bus or something when it lands. And we got bird wings, epic tag. Bird wings, angel, family, power boost, teddy bear. 61,000 views, I'm up to $280. We're starting to get good at this. Here's a cool fireworks one. Cherry bomb above 50, firework above 100, heavy, etc. So we got to work our way up. And I'm thinking wood might be the way to do this because wood is actually pretty heavy and I need it to not go too fast. So this will be the first one to go off. It's probably the lightest, so it's going at the top. And we're going to put the heaviest ones at the bottom. So I've designed the fireworks to go off after three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, six seconds. So I'm going to try with just a few of the big boosters. We'll see how close this is and make adjustments from there. This one's definitely going to be a little trial and error. Look at the size of this thing. I could have made it a lot smaller, but we go big here. What is this? Uh, I guess that's a sponsor for me launching their crap into space for them. Is this going to work though? Uh, let's see if we can get a better view on that. So actually things went off just perfectly. Somehow that just worked. Okay, down we go. Wow, I wasn't even paying attention. I thought that was going to be a lot of trial and error, but it worked. And there it goes. 
So flower power, right on time, business, flash mob, tree. Those are all very rare tags that should be worth a fortune. So that was my first one. I think they hit over 100,000 views. That's 1,100 new subs. And more importantly, all the money, of course. There is $400. That's the end of the fireworks chain. Let's try a scrappy star. We got to use car parts. Uh, and judging by the way they look, I'm probably going to stack them together because they're not aerodynamic and I need to get this 300 meters up and ignite a firework. So that's going to kind of be the core of this. But it's also quite light. The last thing we launched was 20 kilos. This is 7. These boosters are obnoxiously big, so they'll get the job done. Then I'm going to add a couple fins on and let's see what this does. I mean, it's kind of easy when you just put all the car parts into each other. Well, I got it to launch. It's not going super high, but it might still... Okay, that was six seconds. Oh, the firework did go. So perfect. That actually worked out perfectly. Uh, I don't know where it's gone and it's probably not flying very nicely, but I got the part to where it's supposed to go. I just realized I can buy a converted jet engine now for $230. I suppose we'll probably need an old fuel tank to go with that for another $50. So a converted jet engine looks like that. So let's maybe add another one of those, but then we're going to flip it around the other way. They seem pretty big and I'm pretty okay with that. Going to adjust them just a little bit so they're not too high up. I just got a car fuel tank, so I didn't actually need to buy the... Oh, that's really big. Okay, we're not using that. Uh, this is also quite big. I feel like this is all supposed to go in a much larger rocket, but, you know, what are we going to do about that? We're going to put a fuel splitter. This is going to be very hard to make work. We do need a bigger rocket. Okay, I found a way to make it all fit. It's not super nice. The flight's going to be who knows what. But the fuel all hooks up, and I want to see what these jets are capable of. Uh, plus, we still have lots of room to spare. So why wouldn't we add some boosters to this? How much do these cost? Can we get two of these? We can. So we're going to put those anywhere we can, really. Even if they're on the outside of the fins. That's entirely like something I would build, and I love it. Even just sitting still, it's already like swaying because it's got so much weight side to side. Let's see where it goes. Okay, that's a pretty good start. Uh, it's turning pretty hard. It's crashing back down to earth. It's probably got too much weight up top. Uh, those other boosters also didn't last a super long time. It runs out of fuel fairly quick. Okay, we don't need the dandy deer right now. It can go away. Uh, let's take those boosters off and see what it does without that added weight. Off you go. Uh, it's better. I think it's still too top heavy. It seems to want to turn around and come back to earth in a hurry. Yep, it literally points itself straight down. But the important thing is we got the new jet engines. Okay, I've been ignoring this for a while because I didn't think it was anything, but it's actually a thinned nose. And this is like a thinned base, so we can actually do something stupid like this. But I think as long as this is going to stand up, it's better like this. That's simply going to be quite aerodynamic with a lot of boost to it. All right, let's see where this goes. It's basically rockets uh, on top of a nose. I could probably get rid of that body even, but we're <laughs> just going to send this thing wherever it goes. It's going up in a hurry. That much I know. Oh, I think it's turning again to come back to Earth, but it's still going up pretty quickly. Well, we did get that one over a kilometer. I don't really know what direction it's heading now. It gets a little confusing at this point, but it's coming back to Earth. So now that we have a few more parts to work with, let's try Dandy Deer again. So how do you get this 500 meters up? Well, for starters, you make sure it's aerodynamic. That way its flight is mostly seamless. Then you're free to put the boost more or less wherever you want so it goes nice and straight. You can also give it a massive base if you want, but that gets very heavy very quickly. I think for now, now that I've got the room for this, complexity-wise, I'm just going to give it another big booster and then we're going to add some fins to keep it nice and straight. The uh, center of mass is, is, is more or less in the center of things. It's not center on the mannequin, but it's whatever. Let's see how this goes. I would really like the opportunity to stop looking at this at some point, but let's just see how it launches. It's leaning, isn't it? Whatever. Off it goes. 500 meters. Please just do it. So far, so good. It's actually hitting 203. It might actually do it. No, it's going to fall quite a bit short, but it's not that far off. Uh, I've adjusted its hat just a little bit, and I feel like if I could make it not lean, okay, that didn't help very much at all. So what if we just launch this? It's considerably lighter. Uh, I think it actually flies better without the nose cone. I don't know why that is, but I think we're going to hit 500 meters. Okay, we did it. We launched a deer mannequin 500 meters into the sky, and uh, that's terrifying. Can't wait to see it hit the ground, though. This is going to be fun. I want this thing obliterated. I don't ever want to have to look at that again. And just for fun, I decided to build a rocket using lightweight parts and all my big boosters. So this thing only weighs 24 kilos and has lots of power. And it looks something like a real rocket might. I've never seen a real rocket. Spoiler alert. So let's see what it does. All that horsepower going up. So far, so good. 
it's at 500 there's a thousand okay this one might be a record breaker there's two kilometers at least and it's still going upwards somewhat 2.5 kilometers leaning a little bit to one side imagine if that was going straight but there's three kilometers up this is a masterpiece